here I have put some dates, names and sales. In sales, there is some formula. Okay. I have formatted with some colors and different font options. So basically when I have to copy and list this data, how I do it? Control C and uh, here I click and paste it. So this is general copy and paste which is a paste special that you may be knowing. So we mostly use paste special. Suppose that I don't want to copy the, the formula which is pasted in sales. I need only the values which are, which are highlighted here. Okay, the values. So how will I do? I will right click and go to paste special. There. So first we have done control C, control V. That comes under all. There are different set of options. But mostly we do values when we require the values only, not the formula, not the formatting. We do values. When we press OK, what comes here? Here we have values. We can see in formula bar, there is no formula. But one problem we are yeah. facing that uh, in my date there is no formula. But date yeah. is coming in some numbers. So this can be a problem. So what the secret is that Excel preserves some formatting for numbers, text, date. If you remove that formatting, there will be only numbers. Such as, if I put time here and if I remove formatting from clear, if I clear format, so it will show me some number. This is called number formatting. Okay. So when we copy paste the value, copy paste the values only, so it removes all the formattings. So we want to copy the values and preserve the number formats also. Not this uh, bold, italic and color options, only the number formatting. So what we do after copying that, go to paste special. When we do paste as values, we have an other option, values and number formats. Just select that and press OK. So we, you will get the same number formatting. You can see our date is same. There is two decimal position of number. In earlier we have only uh, no decimal position. Okay, so this is called number formatting. So for preserving number formatting while pasting the values, we use values with number formats. Then we need, we have another option, formulas. Formulas and normal copy paste are same. They do same, but it is more concentrated about formula. So it don't paste any uh, uh, formatting, but paste is the formulas and the values, both. Okay, but the number formatting is not there, so that you can uh, see here that there is no decimal points and the date is not in proper format. Okay. So when we, we were pasting these things, we face a problem here. Also. Again I copy and paste special. I paste value that number formats. Okay. Or any copy paste. So what we are seeing here that uh, some column widths, the width of the column is not proper. That's why it is not showing the date value properly. So when we paste, uh, we, uh, this is a small amount of data, but when we have large data, we copy paste. And copy paste, after copying paste, we have to set uh, this uh, width manually. So it's a, uh, if you have large data, it is a big problem. 
and a lot of time consuming also. So what should we do for that while copying pasting? Just copy that and go to paste special and we have column width the option also. In column width the column setting will be pasted here. So like if uh, I do here uh, the same thing column width only the column settings will be copied. Okay. Am I clear till now? Yeah. Yeah. So let's move ahead. The sales is different here. Huh? Sales. What ma'am? Sales is different. Sales, sales, uh, sales column. Uh, actually, uh, this is a formula which randomize the values. It always changed, keep changing. It is a formula. Okay. Okay. Uh, I tell you what is it exactly so that you never confuse again. Rand between is a formula where we put two numbers and the number between these two numbers will be generated here. Any number between those two numbers. If I drag this formula, and press uh, uh, do any change this number will change always okay at any uh, every calculation it will be this is a formula yes yes it is a formula the value which were fixed here before copy paste that value get pasted here okay so it changes the value I use for fake data creation Okay, when uh, I need variation of data, I use this function. Okay. This formula I will tell you later. There are a lot of formulas which will amaze you. So uh, let's go ahead with paste special. So I have told you value and number format and column width. This formula and number formats are same. So concentrated about formula and number format. Okay. All except border. When you choose all except border, the borders will not be copied, only the data copied. There is no border. Here we have black borders here. But here we don't have borders. We don't use much. much. Then all using source theme. See the source themes we don't use in Excel. But I tell you what is the source theme. When you go to page layout and there are themes, you might have seen uh, page themes in PowerPoint. So these themes we don't use. So that's why it is of no use. We don't need this. Now, uh, when we only want to do the formatting, we only want to copy the format only. So we can choose formats from here. So it will paste the formatting here. Like suppose if I want to copy the things without formula, copy the values and I want the same formatting here. So what I will do? I will copy that, copy as value, or column width, and for format, I can use the format. So, from paste to special, these things I can do it very fast. If I don't know this option, I will take lot of time in formatting, uh, setting up the column width. So, uh, this your time. Now let's move to other options because it's not only this much only. So we have format, 
and then we have comments. Suppose that I uh, I have commented here. As uh, so you can see, there is some comment. Here you can see some comments. Some comments are here. So you want to copy paste, you uh, write to then go to edit comment, then copy this and then uh, you write to then insert comment and then paste. When you only comment, so you can copy paste the comment for it. Just like yes, copy and paste the question. You have comment option. Directly you can paste the same comment. Only comments can be. Like comments, we have some. Uh, Sometimes we have validation. What are the validation? You can see there is a. Uh, I have selected this cell and give it some drop down. Hello, I'm not clear with your voice. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, voice is not clear. Hello. Okay. Hello, voice is not clear. I, I say it loudly. So I was telling that like comments, we have data validation. Okay, data. What is data validation? You know about data validation? No. Uh, so data validation is the uh, restriction on cell that you can't enter so many things like. Uh, uh, in this cell, I have created one validation. If I want to enter something, other thing, and press enter, so there is an error message comes here. So I put some restrictions that you have to choose the value from this drop down only. I can choose from this drop drop down. I can't enter this uh, the value. So when I want to copy paste the validation also, so I can. Copy the thing, copy the cell, and go to paste special and validation. So everywhere you will find this drop down. You can't type anything. You just have to select from this drop down. Okay, here I have pasted this validation. Go further. Let's suppose I have some um, I have created some sales report from some manual slip that this guy has uh, this much of sales, this much of every guy I have consolidated the sale. Then I found some new slips that uh, I found one mistake that there is twelve more in this figure. There is. Uh, 32 more in this figure and this 41 more in this figure so like that I have some extra figure now I want to add this in cell so what you really do for that Sam? Hello. Uh, 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 what you generally yeah. do for that this problem I have some sales figures I have to add this figure yeah. We have to add extra 12 points for that. Ah, so how do I add these things to this? Yeah, by data validation. Huh? You can change that value. Ah, uh, if I have list of more than 10,000 employees then? Okay. We have to change for, uh, for suppose for, for not all the values. Uh, we have to change for 12, the 32, 41, for that uh, uh, That's person's what only. Yeah. If the changed value is more than 10,000, then how will you do? Do you have any? We have to select all the, we have to select the all uh, B column. We have to select uh, whole B column and we have to do yeah? How?
let me tell you uh, how to then, do it. Okay. Uh, they know formulas, what they will do? They will make a formula and plus this values and then drag it. Okay. Now the value is changed where the figure is added. They will copy this value and paste there. Okay. Copy this formula and okay. paste as values here. Okay. okay. That's how they do. But let's suppose when you are going to copy paste, then we have this option in copy paste itself. Paste itself. This copy the value, copy this color, select this, paste special, and we have some operations. Add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So we can use add. And okay, while pasting, it will add into the figure. This is a one or two second job. Okay. But if you don't know, it will taking it will be taking a lot of time. Okay. Now uh, let us see the scenario. Uh, I want to. I don't want to replace the thing. I want to add the things. I don't want to add the things. I want to replace this figure from this figure. Like uh, in place of 64, I need 12. In place of 97, I need 32. Like this, I want to do. Do you know any alternative for that? Except manual work. Huh? Okay, we have to replace uh, 12 in the 64 that we are correct, correct. Can you do it? Okay. I tell you that how other people do, who knows formula. Again, they will take a logical test. This value is equal to blank. Then, uh, then they will select this value. Uh, if not, then they will select this value. So it will create a formula for replacement. But again, we have to replace, so we don't need to do this kind of stuff. This we can do with copy paste. But copy paste still is a problem. What type of problem comes? And when we copy the data, and paste it here. So what happens? That blank cell get copied into the data. This is our problem. This specifically the problem is that with copy paste that when you copy a range to another range, the blank value also get copied. So in place special we have a solution for that. That skip blanks. Skip blanks means just skip the blank. No blank will be value will be pasted there. Okay. What? No blank value will be pasted there. So you can see the blank value which is here not get pasted in. But the okay. what formula I used? Uh, I'm not clear. Uh, paste special. Yes, in paste special, we have option skip blanks. This one. Okay. Which one here? Skip blanks. This one. Uh, see my. Uh, skip blanks. Yes. See my mouse. Okay. 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 So when I press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So these blank values will not be copied in the other data range. Okay. Okay. So let's do it with more examples that uh, how it is useful for us. Like uh, again the same data piece. Suppose we have some candidates whose sales is like this. 
Now we have target at uh, one that target for everyone, and I want to know the achievement percentage of each. Okay, that how much uh, at how much percentage they have achieved the target. Okay, so what people do? They do this. They select this one, divide, and they put formula like this. Fix a value and then drag it. Divide and then you have number formatting and change it to percentage. So that you can evaluate that how much percentage that uh, achievement. Okay. But I can do it with the copy paste also. Just copy this target. Uh, before that, I just copy this sales values and paste it here. Now, while evaluating the percentage, I need to divide only. Okay. Then I need to click on this percentage sign in number formatting. So how will I do? I will copy it, select this data, go to paste special. From here you can also go to paste special. We have operations as I already told you. We have divide. Press OK. The value will be divided here. Then just press percent. Okay. No matters how much is your data big, you can do it with second. Okay. Now let us see. In practical scenario, we don't have similar targets for every employee. We have different targets for different employees. Okay. Now we can use a formula, but through copy paste we can do how? I'm just copying pasting the same value, sales value to achievement, and then. Selecting the whole target range, then copying that, selecting this achievement percentage, and go to this special and again divide this divide option. This will divide there and percentage. Now what is the difference here? I have selected that, copied that. This 200 get uh, divided with each and every values which was selected. But we, when we have multiple of uh, number values, we uh, copy, and paste, and divide. So each value get divided by uh, it's the parallel values. Okay, like 47 gets divided by 240, 2 get divided by 181. Like this, it works in a symmetrical order. Okay. You have to first select the sales option and you have to paste it in uh, achievement. Then right. you have to select the target uh, column and uh, you have to go to space, uh, paste special and you have to uh, select uh, divide option there. Correct. Divide and after that this percentage time. This, uh, this percentage will come. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, your voice is coming. Uh, fast and that uh, screen is a bit uh, slow so I am getting confused in that. Okay, I speak slow. So, let's take it to further. Okay, here level. it is not in percentage value. How it, uh, it show in percentage? We have to select their uh, general and percentage. We have to change Actually, that. Huh? Actually, oh, okay. how Excel deals with percentage? Uh, I, I will tell you all the things in number formatting that how it manipulates the values in everything. Like for example, 1 means, if I click on percentage, it's 100%. Okay. If I put 0 0.2 here, mm -hmm. 0.2, if I click on percentage, so it will give me 20%. Okay. The actual value of it is 0 0.2 and 1. That's what we are doing here. If we do it to general formatting, we are just dividing. And after division, we need to multiply with 100 to draw the percentage. 100. Uh, so yeah. that's what Excel doing. It is not dividing. It is just showing you the percentage. The, but the actual value, if you figure it out, I refer it. 
the general format will be this one only. Okay. 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 Now let's see another level into that. Uh, that uh, we have a day wise sales and day wise target scenario. We have three day sales, three day targets, different different targets. And now I have to figure it out mm -hmm. that every day is a percentage, achievement percentage. So the same option we will do. Copy paste the sales. Sales. Earlier I told you that every thing should be in a symmetrical order, parallel. Then it works. Okay. You can do divide okay. and then percentage. So every value will be divided with its parallel value. Like 47 with 203, 21 with 213 and 37 with 30. Like this, you can see the result. Okay. So that's how we do operations in, in uh, this paste special. With copy paste only, we can do lot of things. Okay. Now I tell you uh, like. Uh, as a financial uh, analyst or you create balance sheet or everything somewhere in big companies you have to show the value in crores okay or value in lakhs okay. yeah, for whole data mm -hmm. like financial reports that we have uh, in this financial year we have earned 1.5 crore like this in points we need to show so we have actual figures now what we do in this we have to show value in crore so i have type crore here and then copy and same option divide this is special divide so here i will get the value in crore 6 crore 20 crores like this Okay, just for divide. And if your figure is not correct, is showing correct here, you can uh, plus minus this decimal from here. In number formatting this option, you have, you can adjust the points. Okay, because in the actual Okay. Now, let us see I don't want to, here yeah, I have figured out the total, okay. In total I have put a formula like sum, sum of the above value. Now this value in crore I want here, okay. I want two decimal values of crore here, where there is this formula. So how will I do it? because there is a formula so practically if I do then I have to put a divide here and then type the value like this but if we have lot of formulas and lot of figures then uh, it will be quite difficult because this balance sheet and all it is not uh, it is very big data so what, the, what is the solution with me? Just copy the value because I do everything with copy paste. Select the formula, go to paste special and again divide. Don't do any extra thing. So now you can see in this formula bar that divide by 1 crore is automatically get fitted here. In formula. Yeah, okay. So you can change the several formula with just copy paste. And practically these things troubles a lot. <laughs> you see, I have seen lot of senior employees doing these small jobs for day long. Because they don't know these things. 
Excel is just about your presence of mind. These small tricks, if you practice, then if the situation comes to you, you will solve in just two, three clicks. Uh, yeah, if you if we know that uh, trick, we can do it. Uh, I am telling you. No? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Just practice it and when the situation comes, it will click in your mind that oh, this, okay. this problem we can solve by this option. Just yeah. by that. Okay. Typing, uh, typing and data entry thing is not the actual Excel. The actual Excel which we are telling to you that how the problem is solved. Okay. So, uh, you might have known about linking. You know about linking? Uh, no. So, uh, let me give you an example how people link. They will put equal to and select this reference. Like even type this value. And they will drag like this. So where there is no value, where, we, where it will show the zero. But the value is linked. So what is the benefit of linking? When you change any value here, it will show you the changes here. Okay, okay. But I have I am doing with very small of a small amount of data, but if you have large data to link, so what problem mm -hmm. occurs, you don't know how much you need to drag. Mm -hmm. or you have to count every time okay for proper finishing so what solution I have for that you can paste links also just copy the data and go to paste special here you have option paste link okay rest of other option you know formats you can do You can do column width also for setting. Okay, now we have proper data, a proper link copied here. Where if I change any data here, so you can see the changes here also. Okay. But in linking, uh, today we generally use dashboards for this kind of thing. And in dashboards, we present all companies data, all the useful reports in single screen because the boss don't have much time. These reports will be, these dashboards are prepared for senior authorities because they don't have too much time to review all the data. They want everything in by graphs and charts. So what problem arises there that and these kind of summaries you can prepare by linking but the problem is there that uh, you have to present a lot of data there so in excel if you want to format something increase or decrease the size if it affects on all the rows and columns okay let's suppose that i have this much space only Let's see this much space I have only. I want to show this data. Then it is not possible in Excel that uh, if I show this data to this, this much of area. So what is the solution? Just copy this data. Here you have paste option, click on that. Down you have as picture and you have two options copy as picture paste as picture paste as picture because I already copied paste as picture so it will create a picture of the data okay and you know the picture size can be adjusted as per your requirement but uh, we are talking about links and dashboards they are dynamically update if any changes happens here it also updated but in pictures, no changes happens. 
So what is the solution for that? Okay. Uh, just copy that. Go to as picture. As picture. And last option, create picture link. Now, being an image, you can change the size of it. But it has one more advantage. If you change any data, it will show you the changes here also. Okay. Not only this, if you change any formatting, it will show you the formatting also. And it is linked. So, this is all about paste specialist. Okay, okay ma'am.